Yo, what's good? This your boy Derek Branch, your Memphis Wire on SportsView360.com. In today's video, I just want to go ahead and talk about the recent reports that have came out over the last few days. There has been there has been a lot of um, chatter heating up on conference realignment. This time, we finally have some concrete news. Strong evidence strong um reports on where the memphis tigers could be possibly headed and as of now the pac-12 seems to have the most interest of adding memphis athletics compared to the big 12 the acc the sec the big 10 right now it's the Pac-12. We haven't heard, we never heard this type of motion from these conferences like before. We just haven't. Even when the Big 12, the reported uh, rumor of Big 12 officials coming to Memphis uh, that came about last year when they, and the Big 12 officials denied those reports, we never had this much traction. This stuff is coming from credible sources um, around the, um, around the uh, college football landscape and within the city of Memphis. So this all started a few days ago when it was reported that the Pac-12 was going to add Boise State. Well, they, they are going to add Boise State, <coughs> Colorado State, Fresno State, and San Diego State to kick off the reboot of the brand new tw Pac-12 conference. Um, prior to this happening, we all know what happened with the big the, the Pac-12. It was raided by the Big Ten. We started off with taking UC USC and UCLA, two conference heavyweights. Then it Afterwards, the following year, it, it, they pretty much raided the um, Pac-12. The Big Ten, Big Ten, Big went in the head and uh, picked up Oregon and Washington. Then Big Twelve came in. Pretty, Big Twelve came in and pretty much raided everything: Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Arizona State. You know. Then after that. All all programs that were left standing were Washington State, Oregon State, Stanford, and Cal. A few months from down the road, Cal and Stanford joined the ACC, despite the geographics and all that. And which what was left standing was Washington State. In Oregon State. So, with that being said, you now have Washington. You will have Washington State, Oregon State, Boise State, Colorado State, Fresno State, San Diego State. So, pretty much everybody in the conference has a state name after. Got a state name after their program. You know, I saw a joke online today talking about. Um, when Memphis joined, it needs to be called Memphis State once again. <laughs> it might as well be because every com every team in this uh, conference, this new look Pac-12 has state after it. it. Ends with state, you know. So afterwards, a few days after this was announced, it came about on Fox News. Well, Fox. Uh, Fox Network's Big Noon Kickoff, which comes on, um, it's like the uh, alternative to college game day for the uh, Fox Network, Fox Sports Network. And it was reported by Bruce Feldman that sources told him that the Pac-12 had interest in Memphis and Tulane. Now, I'm not surprised by this. Nobody should be surprised by this because... There are some rumors circulate, circulating last year 
about Memphis and Tulane wanting to join the Pac-12. There were. There were some rumors. But at that time, nothing came about. Now, the Pac-12 trying to resurge, trying to reemerge in the college athletics landscape. They don't they need Memphis. They would prefer to have Memphis. They prefer to have Tulane. As you many of you already know, Memphis and Tulane have been at the forefront. The for, I was well, more particularly, it's more mainly Memphis. Tulane, Tulane is just coming around recently in football, but Memphis has been in the front of the G five, the Group of Five landscape for a very long time. You know, Tulane recently with their combo, combo victory over Tulane, over USC and uh, the success they've had afterwards have gained traction. But right now, um, the Pac-12 has interest in both of these programs, both of these universities to add to their um, new look heading down the road into the future. So, to me, can't speak for Tulane, you know, but I think Memphis should take this offer. I think they should become a part of the Pac-12 because you've sit around long enough waiting for an offer waiting to be accepted by the Big 12 for the longest, the, a the ACC for the longest. The ACC took SMU over you. SMU is in the same conference, was in the same league as you. Don't even have SMU, don't even have the same type of following the same type of brand recognition as of Memphis, you know, in football, in basketball. And they took SMU over you, over you, over the Tigers. Stanford and Cal don't type that, don't have that type of weight, despite what they have done in the past. And they took those programs over Memphis last year. Now, finally, what do these, these prestigious conferences need you? They need you. They would prefer to have, they have, they have other options out there that, that, that they can uh, pursue, but they want Memphis. They want Tulane. Both of these, this, even though it, may, it doesn't make sense geographically, from a competitive standpoint, Fan buzz, interest, it makes a lot of sense. To me, as long as the financials make sense for the people that made the decisions, they should sign off on it. They should do it. As long as the money situation is right. As long as it will benefit the university, the athletes, TV deal is good. They should do it. This is pursuit. This opportunity. And from what I've read is that since the pack, all that, since all those programs paid all the money and exiting fees to the conference, they're willing to pay for the exit fee for when if Memphis decides to leave the AAC. You know, and also, I'm hearing that networks like um, Warner Brothers could get involved. Warner Brothers, ESPN, the whole nine yards could get involved in this situation. From what I've heard. 
You know? So you may they may have to pounce on this, man. They may have to, bro, because it's just not it just to me it makes sense, man. It makes sense to do this, in my opinion. It makes a lot of sense to be a part of the Pac-12 compared to the AAC. Um, also, you know, the latest news is that the AAC wants to add the Air Force Academy to the mix. I mean, why? I mean, that that's just a sign right there that Memphis needs to leave the conference, man. Air Force Academy. To me, like, you watering down the competition. In my opinion, because you um, SMU is gone, UCF is gone. You know, Cincinnati's gone. All of the, the, the top players in the conference, Houston is gone. All of the top players in the in the in the AAC is gone. It's gone off the better conferences. All that's remaining is Tulane and Memphis. Right now. So I think it's an opportunity that Memphis can't pass up, can't afford, no longer can't afford to not cannot afford to pass up on. In an attempt to wait to see if they can get a better offer from somewhere else. You know, so I think they should do it as long as the money makes sense. The TV deals is something that eclipses what you currently what you are currently in right now. You know, the, my only gripe about this deal, potential deal. Is that the Pac-12 does not have their does not have their um, automatic CFP status that was taken from them after there was uh, after all those teams left the conference a while a few a year ago that was taken away, but hopefully they can get it back. I don't think that's going. Hopefully it doesn't stay that way, but we'll see how it all play out. But um, what Memphis can do from this, can how Memphis can benefit from this, is that they can join this conference, capitalize on the revenue, and then build up success. And when the next level, the next round of realignment, which could possibly merge into two super conferences, Memphis could be right there for the taking to join one of them. And that could be it. So that's something to consider right there. That's one of the many reasons why they should take that off. So we'll wait to see how it all play out, man, because news has been circulating for the last 24 to 48 hours. And by the time I publish this video, publish this story, wake up Memphis could be in the past 12 you never know so we'll wait you just gotta wait and see how it all play out so we'll see all right so that's all for y'all for right now give me a like comment subscribe to the channel let me know how you feel do you think Memphis should join the Pac 12 or should or should they um stand pat and wait for a better offer also check out sportsviewdrink60.com for latest content on the Memphis Tigers football and basketball program have a best blessed day. Peace and out.